Hey there, my name is Megan Towns. I am the Microsoft Learning Consultant uh, for the education team here in Australia. And today I'm going to be talking to you about how the OneNote class notebook experience is integrated into Microsoft Teams. So whenever I'm talking about OneNote, I must wear my handy dandy OneNote cape because it is the best tool in Microsoft Office 365. So now I'm ready. We are going to look at how we can first of all set up a class notebook um, and then some of the things that you can add to the OneNote notebook as well. So uh, let's jump in and, and have a look at how we do that. In Microsoft Teams, when you set up a class team, you are given a, a tab in the general channel called Class Notebook. So when you click on that, you will see Set Up Class Notebook. So you've got to set up the class notebook for each team that you create. So when you click on that, for anyone that's ever used the, the OneNote class notebook creator in normal 365, you'll see that this is very similar to that wizard experience. So it's going to set up a collaboration space, a content library and student notebooks. And all you need to do is click next on that screen. And then this particular page asks you to set up the sections that will appear in each student notebook. You set up the collaboration and content sections after the initial notebook creation. This is very much what will students see when they open their notebook. So you're given four options. I personally prefer to change that. And I say things like my course, okay, if I'm setting this up for potentially a high school class. And then I might say my poetry, if it's, you know, the first unit of work, and then I'll close that. And then we'll create a playground. I like to give kids a playground in their notebook, just so they can do, you know, whatever they want without messing up my sections that I've given them. So once you've decided on those sections, you can click create. Just like in the normal class notebook experience, you can add sections for all students later on as well through the class notebook tool. So when you're ready, triple check that spelling and then click create, it will set up that notebook. So it can take a few minutes to set that up. So it's not something you do just prior to class beginning. Uh, you do that um, you know, a decent amount of time before class started. So I'm gonna let that run its race and jump into another team so I can show you that OneNote class notebook experience. Once your notebook has gone through that setup process, you will then see it appear underneath the class notebook tab in your general channel. So you can click on the little arrow in the top left hand corner there to expand it and see all the group sections within your notebook. So your collaboration space, when you click on that, you'll be able to see the, the normal using the collaboration space that everybody gets with their class notebooks, but you can then start to set up your own sections as well. I like to give the class a section called Our Playground. That allows students to, to do whatever they want um, in, in that collaborative section and keep it away from all of the classwork you might be doing. And then maybe we're going to do another one called our group work. Okay, it's up to you, the, the sections that you create in your notebook. And that can all be done, like I said, within that Teams interface. One of the cool things about Teams and the OneNote notebook integration is if I jump into my other channel here that is called Poetry, there is a tab within that channel called Notes. And what that does is actually connects to the OneNote class notebook. So this will appear in the collaboration section and it'll automatically call itself poetry. And anything your students do in here is collaborative. So they can work together on anything to do with poetry directly through that notes tab. So you can see that that's the section there and we might call this task one. If I expand that, you can add more pages to this poetry notes section for students to work together. So it's lovely integration with the channels and the collaboration section in your OneNote notebook. So you can also set up your content library uh, in your class notebook as well. Uh, you just need to make sure you jump into the general tab and under class notebook, click on the content library and you can then add a new section. So in this case, I'm just going to call it 
content poetry, and that's a place where you can add any content you like to the notebook in regards to that particular unit or project, and students can see it, but they can't edit it in any way. So you can add as many sections as you like in the content library. And then you have underneath your content library, each of your student notebook sections. So when you set up that initial notebook, you added, or I added, my playground, my poetry, and my course. And that's where you can add more student sections as the year goes on. And obviously it's where students are adding work and you can mark that or give them more work as the, the year transpires. So that's the basic setup of a class notebook within Teams. What we're going to do now is answer some questions that have come through Twitter uh, from teachers around Australia uh, and hopefully uh, elaborate more on how you can use uh, OneNote Notebook in Teams. Question comes via Steve Crapnell from All Hallows School in Queensland. Uh, and he asks, is there learning tool support in OneNote uh, within Teams? And the short answer to that is yes. Um, and the long answer, I will show you exactly how to access that. So when you're in your class notebook or when students are in their class notebook in Teams, they can navigate to any page, doesn't matter whether it's in the collaboration section, the content section, or their student notebook sections. And once they're looking at some content and they'd like to get some help with reading that content, if they click on the View tab up inside that interface, they'll be able to select Immersive Reader. So Immersive Reader provides you with lots of different options for reading that text. So the great big play button down the bottom can be pressed and the text can be read back to the student. The first federal elections for the new parliament, which consisted of 36 senators and 75 members of the all right, so great, simple way for students to get that assistance with reading. And then the immersive reader tools that you may already be familiar with are still up in the top right-hand corner. So under the double A's, that's where we can increase and decrease text size for students who might be visually impaired. You can increase or decrease the spacing of the lines, characters, and words, which is helpful for dyslexic and dysgraphic students. You can switch between a serif or sans serif font. And finally, you can change the color contrast depending on the visual needs of a particular student. Or again, for dyslexic and dysgraphic students, different color contrasts will help them with reading. And then the second icon is a tool that's helpful for all students in the editing process. So students will be able to click syllables to see the, the different syllables within each word. And they can also click nouns, verbs, and adjectives be able to see those particular types of words in the, the text that they've either written themselves or text that's been provided to them by their teacher within the OneNote notebook. So fabulous little tool that already exists in, in OneNote 2016, but it's now embedded into the Teams experience as well because it uses OneNote online. So don't forget, if you need to access learning tools or immersive reader, you can just click on the view tab and select that third icon and you'll be in and using the immersive reader. So thank you, Steve, for that question. The next question comes from uh, Margaret Simkin. Um, she's from the Hamilton and Alexandra College in Victoria. And she asks, can you open um, a OneNote class notebook from Teams uh, in the OneNote app uh, in Windows 10 or in OneNote 2016 on a PC or Mac? Uh, and the answer to that one is also yes. So it's exactly the same as using OneNote online when you're using uh, OneNote within Teams. So if you, in your class notebook, in the general channel, when you click onto that particular tab, you'll see the words open in OneNote. So depending on which OneNote software you have set as default on your computer, that will open up in the Windows 10 app or it will open up in OneNote 2016. And if you're on an iPad or a Mac, when you click on open in OneNote, it'll just open up in the OneNote software for you. So nice, easy one to answer there, Margaret. Just click on open in OneNote uh, and you'll be off and away and using that exact same notebook in the software that you know and love. So our final question uh, comes from uh, Christopher Sanders at Trinity College in South Australia. And he asks, can you embed media content into OneNote? So in OneNote 2016, uh, and OneNote Online, you have been able to embed a range of different content um, and the, the same goes for the Teams experience. So when you're working in your class notebook, whether it's in the content section or the collaboration space, it's really up to you. When you want to add any embedded content from the web, so 
all you need to do is grab the URL for that embedded content. So I'm going to pop over to YouTube and grab the URL for a video. So I just copy that and then head back into my team. And what I will find is that when I paste that content into a OneNote page and then hit enter, it automatically embeds below that hyperlink. And the same goes for your 365 content as well. You can embed Forms, you can embed Sway, and you can embed Microsoft Stream into your OneNote notebooks. So here is a link for uh, Sway. When I copy that and paste it into my class notebook that lives inside of Teams, again, once you paste the link in and hit enter, that Sway will embed below the hyperlink. So really easy way to embed content from all around the net into your class notebook experience. Thank you for all those uh, questions that have come in via Twitter around using uh, the class notebook uh, within Teams. Uh, I think there is um, a bit of a change in direction for some teachers who might have been using class notebook for uh, some time when you're using it with Teams as well. A lot of the conversation that you might have been having in the collaboration section uh, in your notebook is now probably going to happen in Teams instead. So I think uh, the class notebook within Teams is very much for you and your class to be you know, taking notes, to be um, working on little projects together. Uh, and for students, obviously, to be using their own sections, just like they've used their traditional notebooks for some time. Uh, so I think there'll be a, a nice uh, balance between uh, how you might work with Class Notebook and how you might work with some of the conversational features in Teams. Finally, to, to wrap it all up, I think the biggest benefit of using Class Notebook in Teams is that the notebook, ex notebook itself uh, lives uh, within the, the team at what's called a tenant level. So a lot of teachers have reported before that when they create a class notebook uh, in 365, it lives in their OneDrive. And if they were to change schools halfway through the year or perhaps go on leave, it's really you know, quite a, a cumbersome process to change the ownership of a class notebook. Uh, whereas when your class notebook lives in Teams, all you need to do is change the ownership of the team and then the, the ownership of the notebook easily changes as well. So uh, I hope you have fun using Class Notebook uh, within Teams. Uh, and again, don't forget that you can always access the Microsoft Educator community at education.microsoft.com to learn more about not only using Teams, but also using Class Notebook in your classroom. Have fun.